Hello and welcome to another QuintelDesigns.com HD video tutorial. I'm your host, Ryan Quintel, owner and webmaster of QuintelDesigns.com, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create pixel art inside of Adobe Illustrator. Pixel art is becoming fairly popular on the internet with people wanting to throw back to the days of 8-bit computer gaming and uh, console gaming with Mario and all of that. Alright, let's uh, fire up Adobe Illustrator and see what we can do. We're going to create a new print document. And our setup for this document is critical. Let's call it Pixel Art. That's not the critical part. Here's where it gets critical. We're going to set up to use inches. And let's use a square. So we use 25 by 25. All right, so now we have this big 25 by 25 inch box, and we're going to separate it in quarter of an inch increments. We're going to create a line and hold down shift and drag it right along the side of your document. Now you should barely be able to see the line because it should be touching the edge of your document. Now holding down Alt and Shift on your keyboard, drag it over to the right. And try and match it up exactly with the right line of the document. So now you should have two lines, both bigger than the width of your canvas, and going from one end of the document to the other. Now we're going to use the Blend tool to give us our steps. Double click on the Blend tool. And this time we're going to specify distance of 0.25 inches. Click and drag on one line, drag it to the other, let go. Click the right line, drag over to the left, and let go. All right, so you can see how many iterations this made, and that's exactly what we want. That's perfect. Now we're going to select this whole apparatus, if you will. And we're going to make a, a duplicate of it. The best way to make this duplicate is I'm going to go into my Layers palette and drag right down to the new layer. So now we have two layers of this. And the top one, we want to rotate. So select our top set of lines, Object, Transform, Rotate, and go 90 degrees starting to look like grid paper now and if you zoom in this looks very similar to a super zoomed in document in Adobe Photoshop which should be displaying pixels which is exactly what we want to work with now select everything with control A and remember this is just an effect so we're gonna have to expand it object expand and select OK perfect so now we have all these grid lines, but it's not really cut up at all. What we need to do is make a big box. So select the box tool in Illustrator, the square tool, whatever you want to call it, rectangle tool. Click once on your canvas so that you get the dialog box to specify width and height. And make it the size of your canvas, 25 inches by 25 inches. Remove the stroke. And color it something, uh, well, something that we can use to see where our pixel art's going. So let's use a light gray. Now, I don't know if you all can see that, so let me move it here. What I'm going to do now is send this light gray box to the back of the document. You'll notice it's on our copy layer up, up at top, but if we take the little blue box... Or we could actually cut and paste, but we'll take this little blue square right here on the Layers palette and drag it down to the bottom layer with our box selected. And you can see now it's underneath. And for good measure, we'll right-click on the box, Arrange, and Send to Back. So by this point, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see. You should be seeing the entire grid on top of your box. Now, how you achieved that, how you layered it, is really up to you. 
Um, that's just my recommended way of doing things. Let's align this box, align the artboard, center and center it on both accounts. And so now you should have a square grid that's ready to be cut out. If you control A and select all and use your pathfinder now, select divide. And oh, it looks like we just have a gray box, but if you zoom really into this gray box, it's a little difficult to see, but there are white lines here. And uh, maybe the best way I can illustrate is select it, and you can see all the blue boxes. Um, you can even turn on a stroke to see these if you like. So there's our grid. Now let's grab a reference image from the internet. Um, let's look for a mushroom. But 